Hey guys, before we start, I'm going to tell you a few facts about the Overton Bridge. First, the Overton Bridge is 50 feet high and was built in 1859. Dogs have been known to jump off the bridge and have been doing it till this day. And since Brett forgot to include this, the Overton Bridge was built in Duberton, Scotland. Goodbye. Okay guys, we're here to talk about the Overton Bridge. I have Lexi here because she knows a lot about it. So I'm trying to figure out what's behind it. How, why are dogs jumping off the bridge? And what are her fears? And like, again, why are they jumping off? And is there like a, something that haunts it? Or is it just a reasonable explanation? I'm Lexi. I'm here to discuss the Overton Bridge theories with Brett today. Um, the leading theory, I think, is that there is a mink under the bridge, and it's marking its territory, so it's a very strong scent, and it's luring the dogs off the bridge. That isn't it, though. People, the scientists also think that the four-foot-tall wall around the bridge is blocking the dog's sight, so they can't see to see how far the bridge is down. Okay guys, so I heard Blakey's theory about the mink theory, and I did my own research, and I figured out that only dogs with long snouts jump up the wall. So I did some more research, and I was like, <laughs> and I figured out the dogs with long snouts have a lot more smelling, they can smell a lot more better, and that's why they jump over the wall. They even did a test on that, and 9 out of 10 dogs went to the mink smell. And only one dog went to the squirrel smell. So we think this is why dogs jump off the bridge. But there still is one question. What about the other thing? Okay, guys. On that happy note, this is the end. Wait. But do your part of the research. And you might find out why the dogs keep jumping off the bridge and dying.